got some in his knee. So yeah, that's what we'll try to do is try to get it to shore, throw, get the dip net on it, throw a towel on it, and just try to pump it down as quick as we can. bring the cage. knocked out of the sky during severe storms a couple days ago and it was on a narrow small creek where he couldn't fish and couldn't take off so we captured it and we brought it out here to the lake um, to release it. Hopefully it'll be able to feed and get back to migrating north. Loons tend to be found on large bodies of water deep rivers and lakes where they can dive for fish and it was on a narrow creek that was about two feet deep and there wasn't a whole lot of food in that creek for it and they need 50 yards or more of open water to take off. They can't just jump straight up like a duck can. They have to run and flap and then eventually get into the to get airborne. And so it wasn't able to take off. And so it was basically stranded there and it would have starved to death. So we managed to capture it and transport it out here safely and we'll be letting it go here in a few minutes. Common loons are fairly common in the fall and spring migration. We have some that winter in the state. Um, they're regular on Old Hickory Lake here. We also get lots of them on Percy Priest. We get three, 400 of them at a time at a roost on Percy Priest. So they're, they're a fairly regular bird here in Middle Tennessee. of the water and he's probably going to scurry off the
All right. Yeah, thanks for the help. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you. Thanks, Polly. Polly, you're welcome. <laughs>